Hey guys, it's Brianna. Today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you what I'm packing in my kiddos' suitcases for Disneyland. We are going for three days. I'm so excited. I wish we were already there. I wish I could just snap my fingers and Harry Potter style have my suitcases already packed. I hate packing more than anything. So if you hate packing like me and are looking for a fast rundown of the things that you should be including in your suitcase, I hope this video helps. And if you're watching this and have gone to Disneyland or Disney World and there's things I'm missing or things that were really helpful that you included in your suitcase, put those in the comments so other mamas can learn from you too. All right, so here is everything that's going to be going into the suitcase for Presley. She is six months old. And what I do, I know I'm a little crazy, but I make a post-it just with like the, what the weather is going to be for every single day. And then I pack the outfit and then I also put like spare outfits. So this is gonna be the spare outfit that will be in like our carry-on airplane bag. But for every day, I basically make sure that there is an outfit and then I have spare outfits in these bags. And the reason I put them in the like gallon they're like these gallon Ziploc storage bags. I just put them in there so I can throw them into the diaper bag, book bag that we have really easily. And in case anything spills or if there is a mess, I can take the clean outfit out and put the messy outfit in the Ziploc bag and it doesn't make everything else in the bag messy. But okay, so our first day at Disney is on Saturday. And this little headband, I got this from Baby Gap. It's like almost a snow one, cause it's gonna be a little cooler there as you can see in the evenings. It's like a snow one, but it looks so cute on P. Like I cannot wait for you guys to see it on her. But I have these little, like they're kind of, they look like, like, they look like slippers, but they're socks. Um, but I got this jacket from Baby Gap. Isn't that so cute? The little mini bow. But I have that to go on top of this red polka dotted onesie. And then she has these mini pants to go over it with Minnie Mouse on them. And those are from H&M. And this was from Carter's. This was from Baby, Baby Gap. This is for the Sunday outfit. And again, like the weather's gonna be really nice during the day, but then at night it will definitely get cooler. So I have these little black Mary Janes with bows. They're from the Cat and Jack line at Target. And this little mini jacket, she'll definitely need it at night is from Baby Gap as well. And I just love how it has the polka dots. I have this dress, which is from Old Navy. It's just like a black dress. It actually has like a keyhole back. It's really cute. Um, but I got, aren't those tights so cute with Minnie Mouse? I just love them to pieces. So that is the Sunday outfit. Then this is the Monday outfit. Again, like very similar weather. We have really nice, it's like either sunny or partly sunny, 75 during the day, cool in the evenings. This was sent to us by Little Oak Lane. They're an Etsy shop. Isn't that so perfect though with the black and gold and leopard? It's like me in a onesie, I'm obsessed. Um, and I found these pants from H&M with the little black and gold Minnie Mouse. And this little sweater or vest, it's not really a sweater vest because it's more of like a waterproof material with the mini bow. This was also from H&M. I just love that it has the black and gold. And then this was like the bag. There's like a coordinating pair of pants and there's a long sleeve black onesie in here. So in case it gets a lot cooler, I'll put like the one sleeve one under that other mini one. Um, but then she has these little gold moccasins to go with it. Aren't those the cutest thing? And even though the hood has like the little mini bow, I got this little like black um, flower headband for her to go with that outfit too. Our final day, we're actually gonna be leaving Disney on this morning. I still haven't decided. We might try to do like a character breakfast if we can get into one, but I have, it's kind of like a little gray outfit with like a beanie. Um, but I have these little Oshkosh onesie overalls and then a Minnie Mouse onesie. This is from H&M as well for on that final day when we would be leaving the parks. For pajamas, when we are there, I got these from Baby Gap. They have Minnie Mouse on them and those little matching pants. So that will be her first night of jammies. And then I have these really cute, these are from Baby Gap too, but they have all the different Disney princess silhouettes on them. I just thought those are so sweet. It might all be Sleeping Beauty actually now that I look at it. I think it is just Sleeping Beauty but different silhouettes of her. And then this is my poorly written checklist but I just am making sure I have diapers, wipes, her toothbrush, vitamins, medicine, desitin, and her baby food and spoons. And just so that nothing leaks, I put like any sort of medicine 
into Ziploc gallon bags too. I like literally, clearly I'm obsessed with Ziploc gallon bags. Not sponsored by them, but I do love them. And then just have like a pack of diapers and wipes. And I'm gonna put these things in our carry-on, but she has like a burp cloth. She has, I love this blanket that says Presley that was sent us. Isn't that so adorable? I'll have a link if you wanna order that because I know they make a ton of really cute personalized blanket onesies things. Um, and then this little spoon, I don't know if you can see it in here. I can try to open it up. But it's like a screw-on spoon for those pouches. But I love these because it just makes it like so much easier to feed those pouches when you're on the plane. Then when we're in the actual parks, I just got like more of these take and toss spoons and figured we can use the forks even for Landon too for something if we needed. A bib, there's like, it's still dirty. And a uh, wub and up for her for on the plane. And again, that's like her little outfit that I keep in one of those bags for on the plane. That is Presley's Disney outfits. And then for Landon, I have the same like post-its for him. This will be his Saturday outfit. And he's got this little like hat. We only probably are gonna go to the park for the evening, honestly, which is why I made like the Saturday outfit a little bit of a warmer one. But he has that snow hat with Mickey. He has his lightning socks. These are from H&M. This is from Baby Gap. Um, and then this Mickey hoodie, this was from Baby Gap. And then I have a lightning t-shirt from H&M. I love that it has like the blue lightning though, so it's a different color. And he has some of these blue pants. Where were these from? Those are from H&M as well. And those little Cat and Jack shoes. But that will be his Saturday outfit. And then same thing for him. I just haven't put these in the gallon bag yet. He has like some Darth Vader socks. And this is just a little Mickey shirt. It's so cute. It says Prince Charming on it. That was from Baby Gap. And he's got a pair of Mickey Mouse pants. Those are from H&M. And that's kind of like his extra outfit in case something gets messy or spilled on when we're in the parks. Okay, for Sunday he has his Cavs hat. This was sent to us by that Etsy store. I'll make sure that they're linked down below, but I thought that was hilarious. Princess Protection Agency. And before I, that just, like we just got that from our PO box, so I actually had this Mickey shirt from H&M originally for this outfit, but I like the princess one to go with peas. Um, and then I have this little flannel for him to wear over it, because it's only supposed to be 71, and I think we're definitely gonna go to the parks early where it will be cooler, and then later for the fireworks. Um, these black pants in H&M, these were like, I think on sale together where it was like the blue and the black set, but I love those. They're really soft from H&M. Um, more lightning socks from H&M. And then his Monday outfit, it's again, really nice weather, but has his lightning McQueen hat cause he is obsessed with lightning. More lightning socks, both of those are from H&M. And then he has this, let me put it together. Then he has this Mickey Mouse hoodie from Baby Gap and has little mouse ears on the hood. It's just so soft and nice and thick for again when it gets cooler. He has a Lightning McQueen shirt. This one was from H&M. And this just ride pair of pants from H&M. They weren't like for Lightning, but I feel like they go together well. And Landon's pajamas. These were from Baby Gap for his first night with Mickey. These, I believe, are either from like Kohl's or JCPenney's. I forget which one I got them. Either Kohl's or JCPenney, but he's got his Mickey PJs for while we are there. And I also am just bringing like an extra set of shoes because I think he will probably want to walk a little bit. And I do just want to make sure that like he can switch out if any of his shoes are bothering him. I'm just bringing like an extra jacket. And I like this one because it's pretty like water repellent and it's also reflective, which I feel like is nice for it. it's nighttime. And his one extra outfit that I'm just bringing to, he's got like a couple of other top options, but another lightning shirt and then just, just a pair of pants. So that's kind of the extra outfit option if we need a second extra. And then again, don't judge my bad handwriting, but this was kind of my checklist for Landon. I'm just making sure he has diapers, wipes, his toothbrush and paste, his vitamins, hairbrush, nail clippers, Q-tips, some medicine for him that he has hats and that he has plane activities. So I've got his wipes and his diapers. And then I actually have his sunscreen here. I need to put all this in, you know, my Ziploc bags. I have vitamins, hairbrush, 
his Q-tips, um, some of his Aveeno lotion. He has like really dry, fair skin than Presley, so he really needs that lotion bad. Um, his toothbrush and toothpaste, his nail clippers, and then these were the fun things. Him and I actually went to the dollar spot together and picked all these things out, but this is just like a really cute little Santa notebook. Could be a good stocking stuffer. Um, some holiday stickers. These were only a buck. Um, then I just got these different like felt shapes and this is like a decorate your Christmas tree with stickers, but I got those little felt shapes with the different holes for him to use then these fuzzy sticks that were there as well to poke through them. There was an activity at his preschool and this kept him occupied for like hours. So I think that will be great for on the plane. Then I had to get some Disney stuff. So I got some Star Wars little play packs. It has like stickers and crayons. Um, this is a little doodle pad, but it also has some stickers in it. I thought that was really cute. Of course, as soon as he saw this lightning one, he had to have that. This also, I think, kind of similar to the pipe cleaners. This one is like a lacing shapes, and I just think he's really practicing his fine motor skills right now, and I think this will definitely keep him occupied. And they had a lightning marker by number. I think like this is a little advanced. He can't definitely color in the lines, but I think he'll like just drawing on it because it's lightning from the plane. Also gonna be going in our carry-on bag for Landon. This is Landon's little, I think it's by Sprout. Yeah, this one's called the Sprout Cubby. He got this for Christmas last year, but we're gonna bring his little tablet with him and a pair of earphones. And my husband downloaded a bunch of videos and movies to this so that he'll have that for on the plane. These are some of the other things. Landon has his own little bag, but that's also like my carry-on diaper bag there. I'm packing these different pouches for Landon and his. We also got some lollipops just for in case his ears are bothering him at all on the plane so he can suck on that. Then just have some more extra wipes. I have these little teether wafers for Presley. I also have just some Arx Bar Kids for Landon. I have some pouches for Presley of different baby food. I also have these organic creamies for her as well. Bibs for both of them for on the plane and some extra like burp cloths and just a nice blankie. Then I also got these little packs of trail mix and packs of cashews just cause I wanna be able, I'm gonna take some of these out and put the rest in our checked bags, but that way we have little pouches of some trail mix and cashews, some good snacks. Our Disneyland Resort tickets. I have some RX bars for me and Adam. I'll also be bringing extra battery for the camera. Um, and then I need to wash this, but our baby Bajorn, we're gonna bring that on the plane. And this is one thing I thought of for the plane. Maybe I'm crazy. My husband kind of thinks I am, but I'm just tying like strings around Landon's cars. And then this way I'll like tie them to the armrest or like something on the seat. So if he wants to play with them on the tray table, they technically, if they fall, will just like be able to pull the string back up. So it won't be like hot mess, tantrum, tears over losing a car. All right, so there you have it. That is what is in my kiddos' suitcases for this three-day Disneyland trip. We will be going to Disney World next year for a week. So I'll make sure that I do a what's in my kiddos' suitcase for that longer trip at that point in time. But again, let me know in the comments if there's anything you think I've forgotten or that you would definitely include for that Disney World trip so I can learn from you and that other mamas can learn from you too. If you're new here, would love for you to subscribe. I do mommy and lifestyle videos and we'll be doing holiday videos and we'll be vlogging our Disneyland trip. So make sure you have that bell button clicked as well so you get notified every time I post a new video. I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys. Make a wish and the dream in you grows Shining as bright